welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video on healthy hydration. Now obviously the best choice that you can have is to drink water because water is the best at hydrating our bodies from the inside out and being hydrated, staying hydrated is the best thing that you can do for your hair, for your skin, for your nails, just an overall healthy body staying hydrated is gonna be the best. But sometimes, especially like in the summer when you're just out and about, you may not want a water. You may want something with a little flavor, something with a little fizz. And so those are what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. I'm gonna to tell you my top five favorite healthy hydration drinks. And then I'm gonna also try out this little guy. I've, I saw this when I was checking out at Whole Foods and so I purchased it because I wanted to see what it was all about. Maybe it's a good one. So I may have six for you, but I'll do this on camera. So then I'll talk about how that tastes or whatever. Okay, so the first one I have for you is probably not all that surprising, but it's coconut water. And this is an actual coconut like off of the tree. Well, not off the tree. I actually bought this, but um, it's a fresh young coconut. Normally the outside is green, but after you've peeled back all the green, you get like this little inside part and then you chip off the top. And then inside is where all of the juice is. I can't really hear it in there. But anyway, coconut water is my absolute favorite alternative to regular water. It has potassium in it. It's great if you work out. It's great if you're outside in the hot sun, if you're at the beach or whatever, drinking coconut water is great for hydration, it has electrolytes in it. The potassium is gonna help with your um, muscle soreness so you don't get sore. Um, it's like the nature's alternative to Gatorade or like smart water because it has electrolytes in it already. Now sometimes you cannot get a fresh young coconut, obviously. If you live in like Montana, then you're probably not gonna find a fresh young coconut that you can go and buy. Thankfully, I live in South Florida, and I know people that have coconut trees, so I can get them from there. Farmers markets, uh, Whole Foods even sells coconuts like this so that you can just take them home. But if you don't have a place where you can buy coconut, like a fresh coconut, then of course there are all those uh, coconut waters that you can get. So there's Zico, there's coconut wine, there is Coco Libre. Uh, those are pasteurized and I really just don't like the flavor of a pasteurized coconut water drink. It tastes a little almost sour to me. Like it doesn't taste the same as like a fresh coconut right off of the tree. Except today, like literally today, I found this one when I was at the store. Um, I already had this coconut, so I was going to talk about it, but then I found this one. I was like, oh, it's 100% raw coconut water. So it's not pasteurized, not anything, and it says that it's never heated, always harmless. And so this one, I tried this one, and I was like, oh, yes, this is my jam. Like, this tastes like coconut water straight out of the coconut. I love it. So if you can't find coconuts, then I would go for something like this, something that's a raw. I don't know if they sell this everywhere. It's harmless harvest, 100% um, raw coconut water. So I don't know if they're gonna sell this where you live, but look for something that says like raw coconut because I feel like that is is the best flavor. It's like the mo most authentic flavor that you can have. My shirt is falling. It's the most authentic flavor that you can have for coconut. So um, I prefer that and not the pasteurized stuff. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about a couple different teas because of course tea is healthy. There are tons of benefits of different types of tea. You can certainly look those up online. But the ones I'm gonna to talk to you about today, well the first one is going to be kombucha. And this is the one that I normally get because this is just accessible. It's at Whole Foods, it's at Fresh Market. And this is organic, raw, um, it's by a company called Reed's, Culture Club, Kombucha, Lemon, Ginger, and Raspberry. And I love this stuff. Is this out of focus? I hope not. But it's so delicious and yummy. Um, kombucha is great because it helps with the joints. Like it helps to lubricate the joints and keep your joints healthy. It helps to detox, it helps with digestion. It aids in boosting your immunity. So it's really, really great for you. It's it's something that the ancient Chinese used like two over 2000 years ago. They've been using it ever since because it's so incredibly great for you. So this has kombucha, but it also has some other stuff. Like I said, um, ginger, ginger is really great for stomach and digestion as well. It does have a little bit of sugar in it, but it's raw sugar I believe or maybe it's not maybe it's just like the sugar from the raspberry puree yeah and then it only has seven grams of carbs so that's really good and then there well there's 30 calories per serving and there's 1.6 servings in one bottle so it tastes really good it's refreshing I love it kombucha is really good for you so it's definitely something that I would check out the next thing I actually tweeted about this before um, it's called Kavita and I recently discovered this maybe 
know, maybe a few months ago, six months or so ago, and I've tried a few different flavors, but I think my favorite one is the pomegranate black tea. They also have like a coconut something or other, I'm not sure, but I really like this one. It's a sparkling probiotic drink. So when you're looking for something with a little fizz, like something that's like more of a spritzer type of flavor, then you may want to go with something like this because it is sparkling and so it does have a carbonation to it. So it's made with black tea. Black tea is really good for you. You can Google all the wonderful benefits, but it also has pomegranate, and pomegranate has lots of antioxidants, so that's really great. And the other thing about this, when I was looking at it, I actually, when I first bought it, I didn't even look at the back. I just was like, oh, sparkling probiotic drink. So probiotics are obviously really good for digestion, aiding in, you know, a healthy gut, if you will. And, uh, but it also has apple cider vinegar, which is random. Like, you don't usually find apple cider vinegar in drinks that you can purchase at the store. At least I've never seen them. So this actually has apple cider vinegar in it, which is amazing, because apple cider vinegar is so wonderful for you. I have a whole video on apple cider vinegar that I will link right here so that you can actually see it. Because I take apple cider vinegar every morning. It's fantastic for you. It's great for your skin. You can use it topically, and you can also take it internally. It's wonderful. It's like a miracle cure for so many things. So I highly suggest apple cider vinegar and watching that video if you suffer from anything like, you know, indigestion, GERD, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, um, if you have arthritis, like anything like that, like look up that video on apple cider vinegar because it's great for you. But yeah, so this is the sparkling probiotic uh, pomegranate black tea drink. Okay, and speaking of things that are more fizzy and more sparkly, sometimes, you know, you just want a jolt of energy. Sometimes you just need something that's going to give you a kick, but you don't want coffee. And so here is a alternative to some of those other energy drinks that you can get that are just laden with sugar. Like, even if they say that they have, like, natural juices, like, honestly, guys, look at the back because it's almost like you're drinking, like, pure sugar. Like, you might as well just take sugar or pour it down your throat because that's what it is. This is a low-calorie Amazon Energy Acai Berry drink it's made by the company Sambazon and I do like this but I must warn you like acai has a, has a different type of flavor it's almost fruity almost chocolatey I feel like so if you aren't into acai then don't get this one but they have other flavors too so FYI if you go to your local Whole Foods or maybe Trader Joe's stores like that then they'll probably have other different options but it's low calorie so it only has 10 grams of sugar it doesn't have like you know, 55 grams of sugar per serving, like some of those other energy drinks that you can find out there. And everything is like pretty much like organic, really good stuff for you, sparkling water. It does have a little bit of sugar probably for flavor, but it's organic cane sugar. Um, it has acai juice, it has green tea extract, uh, it has guyaki organic, I don't know what that is. And then it has yerba mate or yerba mate, extract and that's really great and also has a little bit of stevia extract also which is probably for sweetening so anyway if you're curious about um yerba mate it's really good for you because it also can help with digestion um it helps um it can help with weight loss i've heard it's a tea but it also gives like energy too so that's probably why it's in this great energy drink whoops i dropped something in this energy drink so this is a really great alternative it only has 50 calories per serving and there's only or, i'm sorry it's 50 calories per can, which is fantastic. I don't know if you can see that. The light may be a little bright, but yeah. So it's only 50 cans per, 50 servings per, 50 calories per can. I cannot get that out. So yeah, so this is a great alternative to some of those sugary beverages. And then last, I wanna talk about chia because I feel like when you talk about healthy drinks, chia is sort of all the rage right now. Like everybody's drinking like a chia beverage. And I tried it too. and. It, it, it is a textured beverage, so I would definitely say it's not for everybody. If you don't like things with pulp or things that have um, texture, like bubble tea, then I wouldn't get chia, but I like it. I don't know. It's sort of like a small tapioca ball with a little crunch. That's how I can describe it. But anyway, this is a chia drink, and of course, every time you get a chia drink, it settles at the bottom, so you need to make sure to shake it. This flavor is strawberry citrus, and it's really good. There's a ton. Mama Chia is also really great. That's one of my favorites. I love their, it's like raspberry lemonade flavor, I think. But yeah, chia seeds are really great because it has the omega-3 um, fatty acids. It's great for your brain. It's great for focusing. It's great for your heart. It's just great all around, and it can sort of 
keep you kind of full. So if you're out and about and you're like, oh, like I want a snack, but I don't want, you know, like an unhealthy snack or I'm just thirsty, then, you know, you, you might want to pick up a chia drink because it's going to keep you a little bit full. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like I cannot get cool this summer. Like it's super duper hot. I don't know what it is about my body. And I'm normally like a cold person. So I'm trying my best to like maintain the hydration inside my body so that, because I feel like my my like blood is almost like the temperature of my blood is elevated. It's like almost like I'm taking thermogenics or something because I feel hot like all the time. It's crazy. Um, it's super hot outside. Like I open my door and I feel like I'm walking into a sauna. So I want to try and make sure that I'm staying as hydrated as possible. They say that if you start to get Get thirsty that you're already dehydrated so make sure that you know you're keeping your body hydrated not waiting until you're like oh I'm just so thirsty to start drinking something to hydrate your body um, these are really great coconut water is probably gonna be the thing that's going to hydrate your body the quickest because of those electrolytes so that's something that you want to um, grab and go you can grab and go that if you are out and about but if you're just like oh i just want something else to drink then the other ones are great options okay so i got this from whole foods today it is amazing grass green superfood alkalizing and energizing blend of raw superfood orange dreamsicle that's the flavor and it supports overall health and wellness so that's really interesting. I'm really interested to see this because I've never tried this before. So I'm going to try it with you right now. I think you just take, okay, it says mix one packet with eight or more ounces of your favorite milk or water. So let's see, let me get eight ounces of water. I'll be right back. Here is about eight ounces of water. It's probably a little bit more. Um, just bottled water. And then I'm going to take this, let me open it and pour it inside oh it's like green did you guys see that it's like green see it's green okay but it's supposed to taste like orange dreamsicle so this is gonna be really interesting because if this is actually good then it, they're great little packages to have like keep them in your purse or whatever and then when you want something healthy for you but you know flavorful and hydrating then try that okay so it's like super green now green stuff is really great. You always want to get your greens. It's obviously better to eat them, but if you can't eat them, then putting them in a beverage form like a green smoothie or just throwing a few spinach leaves into a regular like strawberry banana smoothie is great. It smells like, like I can smell, it's almost like I can smell the orange juice sickle, but I can also smell the green. It's like two separate notes. Okay, so let's try it. I'm scared. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Okay, so when you first get it in your mouth, you can almost, maybe I didn't shake it enough because it's almost like still a little powdery. And then, like, after it's, like, settled on your tongue for a little bit, it hits you with a little sweetness, and you can taste the um, orange dream cycle a little. Yeah. No, I do not recommend this. I mean, I'm going to drink this because it's good for you, and I bought it, so I'm going to drink it, but... It's not, I don't recommend it. I mean, it's, it's not my favorite, let's just say. It's not my favorite. But if you, if you struggle eating your greens, then I would say try something like this. But if you're good with just eating like a salad with your lunch and with your dinner, then you can skip that. It's really not all that great. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and an amazing rest of the summer. Stay hydrated and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. I've already